Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We back. 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 What's good, everybody? It's your boy Toshi. We back at it again with some more heat today. Yes, we're reacting to some things. If you're just now catching this live, if you're just now catching this on YouTube, I'm live right now on Twitch. Link in the description if you don't know. And now you know. So, with that being said, you already know. Like, comment, sizz up, all of the above. And uh, let's get into it. All right, here we go. We're about to get into this Platinum End, Season 1, Episode 15. Last time, big brain shit happened. We lost one. And now this is, we actually lost two. One good, one bad. Now this is going to be the aftermath. And hopefully we kind of get into like, maybe who was a big bad for real, for real. But we'll see. Let's get into it. Okay, so that's that organization that found out their location. They put, they stumbled upon a uh, Metropolitan's body. Ah, uh, the red arrow still in her. So is that really her talking? She's saying all of this, but like, even though this might be her real feelings, man, that red arrow got all the influence. So I ain't gonna trust shit she's saying for real. That's right. Or he was being controlled. Yep, isn't somebody? Somebody's in control. This kid, who are you? Phil was good. He... Wait, what? He said you should head up to heaven now. Is, is it translation problems? Oh, I should head up to heaven now. So he's leaving. So this kid, give my regards to Pen. Pen. So this kid's angel, I'm assuming. What's up with this kid, bruh? Oh shit! He got. It was a kid in his school? Oh no. What the fuck? So his homie's gonna know though. This kid caught him off guard. Wow. This kid caught him off guard and took over his whole shit. Wow, it's a kid kid. Like this kid is just he's so young wow an angel can't do shit wow this is platinum men phil wait a second wait where's this kid's angel then who is this kid's angel why doesn't he have an angel what the fuck is going on this little kid just pulled up and took over okay so there's four people left he KO'd next to the homie's gear. <laughs> he talking in his sleep. She was about to give him a kiss. Man's woke up the next day like, oh. Damn, he slept on the hard floor? I mean, you young. What'd she make for breakfast? He just woke Oh, it's still curry? Okay. I do that. I do curry. I'm about to eat some curry right now. Not right now. Probably like an hour or two. I just gotta warm it up, throw it on the rice, and I'm good to go. Japanese curry at that. The fuck is that? That was one, two, three, four, five. Five angels? Bro, what? Six. What the fuck? Whoa, what's up? So they got a special meeting when half is out. Wow. Okay, so there's six candidates left. Oh, games. First rank. Angel of Truth. Okay. Ah. She took a, She made her shit. She said, look, I'm gonna just live my life. Fuck being a god. 800 days left. The Angel of Games. See? He around here playing games and shit. Why they all look tough and shit? Except for them two. They look soft. Do the angels reflect their... Masters? God damn this little kid. Damn, salad. Sandwiches. Sound like Yu-Gi-Oh! with the god candidates? Who's gonna become the next god? This show is basically a group of... of this is basically a group of suicidal god candidates. Wait, what? 
This boy is the big brain. <laughs> exactly. He's the... Wow. They made a sixth grader the big bad? How y'all supposed to secure him? So basically, basically everybody that's a god candidate has committed suicide, but the angels saved them before they died and made them a god candidate. So all these people were committing suicide at the same time. They all were saved. They all became god candidates. Some of them want to be, you know, some of them are just trying to kill other candidates to become gods. Like this little kid said, he don't want to be god. Uh, the other chick is on an island just enjoying her life. Like, you know, humans doing selfish shit like they probably would do in real life. He's telling the whole history right now to everybody. The new god is choosing, the old guy's choosing new gods. He's got the game one. He's got the, the, the fucking angel of games. So no wonder this kid got the angel of games. He's going to play mad games. So he was literally just a lonely kid. How did he commit suicide? He took sleeping pills. See that? Uh, he got scared. He got scared because Metropolitan Man wanted to kill all the other God candidates. So this kid just did everything in self-defense. Wow. This kid liked that. He liked the fight between the two God candidates because it felt like a live game. Oh, this kid's dangerous. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So he's going to turn a lot of people against each other. Okay, so the kid thinks the world should choose who the next god should be. Wow. What a kid. Wow. What a craziness. He's going he to have a whole world tracking down the god candidates. And he's endorsing Red. He's endorsing the main character. Now, this is some weird shit. It's some crazy shit, because this kid, even though he is a sixth grader, he's a kid, mentally, he still sees everything as a game. So the Metropolitan Man versus Red fight was all set up because this kid wanted this game to happen and he loved it. And he said this is the first time he's felt alive. So I think all of this is just a setup for a bigger game that he wants to play with the entire world, which is fucking wild. But I still think there's some big brain and shit going on. So technically, as of right now, there's six guy candidates left, but we only know of four of them. We know of the two main characters, the guy and the girl. We know of this little kid and we know the, the chick that was on the beach just living her regular life. So we actually know what four of them look like. The other two are completely random. We don't know. They could be anybody in the world right now and anywhere in the world right now. So we're also looking for two more guide candidates. The concept of this shit is kind of crazy. It's such a, it's such a, it's a different concept. I'm fucking with it. You know, it's, it's, it's different for sure. Um, a lot of big brain shit going on though, since, like I said, it's, it, there's something else to this kid. This kid's pretty smart for, to be who he is to break down all that information you're in sixth grade and you're comprehending all of this as a sixth grader you're pretty smart like he said he was like yeah i could have i could have lived in this world normally but you know what i'm saying i was i was kind of over it which is crazy to even think about when you're in sixth grade that you were over like in sixth grade he has the angel of games who definitely probably put some shit in his ear and now they're playing just big they're playing a big ass game of chess right now and this kid is the big bad uh, we still have two, like I said, two more guy candidates in secret. They could be bad. They could be good. They could want to be God. We don't know what they're doing, but there's a lot of story left to unfold. And we had over 800 days left before they choose the final God. So a lot of shit can happen in 800 days, of course. So yeah, a lot of shit to go on. A lot of shit can happen. Very interesting. This kid just outed every detail of the situation. This kid told everybody everything. Red arrows, white arrows, angels, angels name, the whole scenario, why, how he became a guy. He just, he told everything. So this is on some different shit right now. The whole story and everything just completely flipped because everything was working in secret. Now it's a completely open to the world. Now people of the world can also, you know, just being normal people, we know that there's gonna be three sides. 
to the world. There's gonna be people who don't give a fuck. There's gonna be people that's gonna be super for it. And there's gonna be people that's gonna be super against it. We know that, right? Now it's gonna we're gonna see like who the fuck, wh who else is gonna come into play, governments wise and shit like that, to to start to figure shit out. Cause you know governments always want control, and governments always want you know all types of shit. Uh, you know, and obviously safety as well. But yeah, it's gonna be kind of crazy to see who's gonna come into play to 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 figure out the next steps of uh are they gonna try to help the god candidates are they gonna try to kill the god candidates are they gonna try to you know we don't know what these these, these other factions are gonna do but shit is getting real interesting and the story just kind of opened up you know it was kind of doing this it was kind of like like linear and all of a sudden now it's like oh there's these possibilities have just opened up this uh this story so yeah very interesting very crazy fun anime if you're into the big brain and weird eerie shit but yeah man that was platinum in hey if nobody's told you i'm gonna tell you i appreciate you appreciate you for stopping by the stream appreciate you for taking it with your boy come pull up on me if you haven't already you feel me and hey i appreciate you i'm gonna catch y'all next time as always have fun, stay fly, and be free. I'm out.